All right, welcome to part two of episode two. Same thing, we're dealing with strokes. In part one, we just finished vectoring a face. In this case, it was candy main, scootaloo, whatever. Now I'm going to teach you how to do feet. All right, so uh, I, took, <laughs> I took Twilight's feet out just so I could teach you how to do this. Once again, you're going to use a color guide. Go ahead and take body stroke. Go into twilight. Go into stroke. I've already got it all made here because I already did it. Go into stroke. And here's how you do feet. Or huh, just in legs in general, I mean. So you want to control click, kind of make it sort of longish. And you want to go about here on the hoof, almost where it curves, but not entirely. Bring the opacity down. Use control click, change the Bezier curves, Berlinger, Berger, whatever you want to call them. Bring this one, make it smaller. And then you want to, what you want to do, this is important. So you want to click and drag over here. Kind of, these are kind of equidistant to each other between the hoof. All right, adjust it like such. And go ahead, do the same thing on the other side. Now since there's, I don't know if you can see it. No, that's not what I want, okay. There's kind of a curve, a, a point here. So this is one of the few times on a pony where you're going to want to have a midpoint that actually moves. So you're going to want to kind of angle it away. Use alt click, kind of angle it a little bit. Then go ahead and make your final point up here. All right. And then do the same thing. Like I said before, adjacent is key to having a proper pony. Yeah, it kind of rhymes. Keep everything nice and adjacent. On this side, it kind of, yeah, it doesn't. No. Use control to shorten this side a little bit because we got one right over here. Now, I'm, I'm used to this, so I can click and drag and estimate, you know, basically where it's going to go. If you can't do that, like if you need to, you can just kind of have a short click and drag and it'll be totally off. Just control click, move it over, whatever. Now it looks like this leg is gonna need a midpoint, so I'm gonna add a midpoint here. I'm gonna add a midpoint here. And I'm gonna change the angle a little bit. You know what, I need to change the angle for the midpoint. Going against my own rules here, I know, I'm sorry. All right, bring it up, close it off. Since shapes of the same color blend into each other, boom. All right, hind leg, I've already got this back part done. That's an entirely different stroke. So you're gonna wanna start here. Same thing as the bottom of the hoof here, like we did before with the one here to one here. You're gonna make one here on this side of the curve and one here on this side of the curve. You're gonna make this one longer. Make this one kinda, of, you're gonna to wanna to make them kind of almost touch. That's what I'd say, make them almost touch. They're a Bezier's. That'll make a nice kind of rounded off corner. Go ahead and make this down here. Control click, make that shorter. And this is the glory of this tutorial series, is I'm not doing a time lapse, I'm walking you through everything here. Same thing with this one, you wanna have a pointy, cause it's kinda pointy. I'm walking you through everything here. I'm not flying through it to save memory or my day to cap or whatever. This is dedicated to you guys. You bronies out there who wanna know how to vector a pony.
You want to be a big shot on DeviantArt, eh? Alright. Equidistant points. And you're like, wait a minute, Orange. That doesn't look like it's following the trace at all. That's because there is sort of an animation error over there on the bottom of the hoof. Well, that, that was kind of my fault right there. And it was bottom down here. There was kind of an animation error. You'll see animation errors a lot when you're vectoring. They're, they're a common, common species of errors you'll see. They're not big errors like uh, derpy hooves or what's his face, Cyclops Pony. They're kind of subtle errors. Subtle, not subtle, I don't know what I keep saying. That. Subtle errors like uh, kind of almost vector errors because, you know, flash it the way. I think they animate using flash vectors. I need that. And um, so I think when they try to animate, they have to move every path they make. Every path you make. I should be in the Reddit singing contest. No, I shouldn't. So they animate every path they make. into a nice animated series we all know and love is My Little Pony. So for every hoof, even in the back, it's the sa same basic principles of adjacent points all over. If you don't like the way something works, you can change it. It's your vector. You can do whatever you want. All right. We have all the hooves I had ready for us, ready to go. So we're going to beef them all up to 100% opacity. Oops. These ones were not in the stroke group. There. Now they are. And if we take off the background layer, boom. Congratulations. You've got your first hoof set up. You might notice a couple bumps here and there. That's okay. Easy to fix. Just control click, smooth them out. You know what? I don't want that curve. What if I don't want this curve here? I just take it out. And those are those errors I was talking about. See how I did that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth out those by making points up here that won't affect the rest of the line. You don't want to move those points ever. Ever, never, 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 ever, ever. You can move these down here if you want. Now, I'm probably confusing some of you still, even though I'm trying my best to explain what's going on. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments or in the subreddit. I try to be on that subreddit as much as I can, but lately I've been busy. This, this, hoof, this hoof over here is just messed up. Let's fix that. That's my fault. You know, it's all guesstimation vectoring. If you noticed a couple days, yes, no, just yesterday, I, I vectored Discord, as sketched by uh, I think it was X X Alien X. Lots of X's. Good guy. You should ask him for commissions. Actually, that's bad. Don't do that. Unless he wants them. All right, so here's a real quick tutorial on fills because they're so easy. You've got your stroke set up, right? Go get the body fill. It's called body fill, not body fill shadow. We'll go there in a second. Now you want to make a, a fill group under the stroke group. See how it's under the stroke group? You're like, gee, Orange, why did you do that? Because since it's under the stroke group, the strokes overwrite the fill if they're in collide with each other. So in this case, it's like coloring outside of the lines, except the lines are really thick, so you're coloring inside the lines. You can be really messy with your fill. Just control click, make a basic shape, and boom, it's filled in. Same thing with this one. As long as it doesn't bleed out or bleed in or doesn't, 
Yeah. Then you're fine as long as it's concealed by the stroke, you're good. Now, this back hoof back here, it's in the back. And usually in the back, there's a shadow. So this is what you use body fill shadow for. And this one's going to be a two-part because if I go like this and you're like, hey, I can do that, right? I mean, technically you could. Or, you know, you couldn't. If I went like that, you couldn't be able to do it. So, you make this one into two. This one, you, for fills, you can use alt-click as much as you want. I mean, no one's going to see how bad your fills are because it's all hidden by the stroke. All right. So, fill body. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Body shadow, body fill shadow. Where'd it go? What is it? Okay. And boom. You just vectored the lower half of Twilight Sparkle. And she has a pink horn. Why does she have that? I don't know. There we go. Okay. No. There. I think. No. You know what? Leave it alone. Pretend you didn't see that. So now you know how to vector hooves, or strokes, the strokes of hooves, and you also know how to fill, because filling's easy. It's just it's simple coloring inside the lines, which I'm not doing right now. So that's part three. Oh, no, wait. I got something for you guys. If you think you need some work before actually doing a vector of your own, or you, you can't find anything to work on, I've got this worksheet for you. I made you a worksheet. Yes, thank you. And no, don't thank yourself. Thank me. Um, here, let me open up the uh, PSD. This is the old version. This is the new version. Okay. All right, simple instructions. Use the pen tool only. No other tools are allowed. No convert point tool. No add anchor. No square tool, no rectangle tool, no ellipse tool, just the pen tool. And trace the following strokes. You know, try to be as accurate as possible. This is for your concern. You don't have to turn this in or anything, because why would you turn it into some random person? All right, these are basic strokes. This one here is a challenge. You're asking, how is this a challenge, Orange? Because it's something I didn't teach you. Do you think you can do it? I'll give you a hint. It involves up here. Right now you're making a path, right? There we go. Okay. Making a path. Dun, 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 dun. If you need to use more points, like I said, you can, but as few points as possible, that's the general rule. All right, let's just say I did it. Let's say I did it, okay? Go up here, press this one in the middle. It's called subtract from shape area. And if you click and go like this, go like that, look at that. It magically erases all mold and mildew stains from your garage. No. What it does is, it's like a path within a path within a path. It subtracts the shape from, it subtracts the fill layer from inside the shape you already vectored. Think of it as like the strokes except opposite. That's the easy way of putting it. So you got these. This one is all about. Curves. And straight lines. By using control. It's all it's a control and alt click exercise. Let's put it that way. Now this one. Is putting strokes on Fluttershy. I've given you a color here. Um, these black lines are where you should put your paths. So kind of 
trace along the line here. See how close you can get to the way I got it. Apparently I'm not very good at that. Just get it as close as you can. And you've got a stroke. Congrats. I've also got some advanced challenges here. If you want, you can re-vector the entire thing. I've included the colors for that as well. Now, Twilight has no legs. They were mauled by a freak accident. So, you need to fill in those legs like I just did over here. Go ahead and I've given you stroke and fill. There are a couple of advanced challenges over here. Same thing over here, except this time I included wings. We didn't go over wings, so I want to see if you can do that. Or you can see if you do that. And I've did the fill as well. Remember, use shadow fill for hind legs. And I've got an advanced challenge over here. So you can find that. I'll link to it in the description. It'll also be on the subreddit. Um, I'll put it in as a PSD. And I'll also put it in as a PNG. Yeah. For um, I'll put it as a PNG and a PSD for all you uh, Inkscape users if you want to use a PNG. So that's part three um, of episode two. That's the end of episode two. Strokes. Uh, next, I took a vote between some of the users in the uh, subreddit. And they said they wanted to um, go with eyes the next episode so next episode we'll go with eyes i was going to do hair but we're gonna do eyes because that's that is what most people seem to have problems with i mean speeding turtle i'm sorry speeding turtle but just look at this vector here as soon as it loads why is it not loading there we go nope uh, my computer's too slow. There we go. If you notice, the eye shine's kind of off. The eyes are kind of off. Uh, Speeding Turtle's a great vector artist, though. Um, I mean, if you look at some of these first vectors, I won't, no, I won't pick one out, but some of the eyes are pretty bad. Like, I sh like that crappy vector I had. Where is it? The eyes are terrible. And I'll tell you why they're terrible, and I'll fix it for you in the third episode. But for now, it's time to go, so I'll say goodbye. See ya.